Hey, everybody. It's go time. Let's go remove a billion tons of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. So starting a carbon rule company isn't like starting any other company. We've been leaning more into this at Air Myers, and we want to share all this tech and this knowledge that we're finding, that we're, that we're seeing startup founders experience. We want to share it with more people. And so last week, we announced a, an event called How to Sell a Carbon Credit. And you know what? Like Internally, we talked about it. We thought like maybe 10 people are going to show up. Maybe 10 like startup founders who want to sell carbon credits are going to show up. And it's going to be a really, really small group, but we're going to do it anyway because we have the key to help unlock those 10 people to then go sell a carbon credit, raise money for their company, hire 10 people, hire 100 people, get to billion ton scale for carbon removal. And so we're like, let's just, let's just do this anyway, and we'll see who shows up. And so normally, if you look at like the, the history of Airmire's events, uh, they have they have peaked around 100 people sign up in the first 24 hours, right? Like occasionally we'll get like, oh my gosh, like this event is like super hot, 100 people signed up. So Jason sent out this, this new event, how to sell a carbon credit. And the next day I get a message from him and he's like, holy crap, 200 people signed up for this event in the first 24 hours. And I'm like, no freaking way. Like did some bot sign up? Like who the hell is signing up? And so we crack open, we got this survey where we ask people like, what is the thing that you want to know about, about this topic? Uh, so it's, what do you want to know about, about how to sell a carbon credit? And I'm just scrolling through and it's just, it's people are like, I need to sell a carbon credit to get my company off the ground. I want to sell a fucking carbon, carbon credit. Somebody said like, I want to do what the title says, sell a carbon credit, right? So it's like, all these people want to figure out how to start a carbon rule credit so they can they can get their startup company off the ground. And so it completely blew away uh, my expectations, our expectations for this, like what we thought would happen with this with this event. Um, but it was coming from this place of like, look, nowhere else on the planet can you get this information. We've got two startup founders who have sold carbon credits. And there's on the order of like 50 people on the planet that have done this. And we're going to, we're going to get you there and you can get access to it. And so it's, it's just, it's incredible that there are so many people that want to get access to this, to this information so they can go and sell carbon credits. So inspired by that, we've been coming up with how else can we uh, take the, take this, this knowledge that nobody else on the planet has and share it with other people in service of helping unlock gigaton scale carbon dioxide removal. And so Jason has two events in the works on this. Uh, the first one that's coming up is on how to raise your first $500,000 as an entrepreneur in carbon removal. Uh, and the second is going to be about how to get on a, uh, how do you get your carbon credits into a, into a registry? So how do you get them registered in a marketplace uh, so you can sell them to, um, to buyers? Uh, so I want to talk about the, the how to raise your first $500,000. I'm going to be moderating that event, actually. We've got two, uh, uh, two founders who have done it in the last six months. So like post-economy kind of, you know, going down. Uh, and so they've got like, you know, frontline experience on like what it takes to, what it takes to raise your first $500,000. Um, and what's important to, 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 to learn about here is that Fundraising for carbon removal is different. If you've if you've learned how to raise money in the software world, in the uh, con consumer electronics world, in kind of the broader clean tech world, funding for carbon removal is different. And that's specifically what we're going to be talking about. It's, this is not general, you know, how to raise money for a startup. This is specifically, you know, what's unique about raising money? What makes it different to be a carbon removal startup? Uh, and so we're talking about, you know, what's what's unique about this this market is that uh, it's it's a it's an unknown market. Investors are worried about that. Uh, it's a it's a deep tech market, so there's tons of dilution in terms of you know you got to build all the machines to do this. So investors are worried about that. And then on the diligence side, this stuff is like crazy outer space science that nobody really has a handle on. And so diligence in these companies and figuring out like is this company is this tech make sense? Are they actually able to remove carbon? That's really challenging. And so those are the three things that, you know, that's that's why it's important to come learn about uh, how to do fundraising and carbon rule is because it's different. It's a different market, it's an unknown market. 
The dilution is really hard, especially if you're doing, you know, machines or you're needing to do land and all this sort of like high expense stuff. And it's different. Um, the unknown market is that, you know, there's, there's been, there's been about a million tons of carbon dioxide uh, pre, uh, pre-purchased, but only about 50,000, 100,000 of that has actually been delivered. So you're talking about like 50,000, even, even if that's $100 a ton, you're talking about five to $10 million of product has been delivered here. Right. And so as an investor, it's like, wow, there's like tons of market risk here. There's regulatory risk around like, is this like, is a government going to come in and like mandate that, that companies or, or people buy carbon credits? And like, as a, as a startup, you are riding this wave. Whether you're a marketplace company, whether you're doing MRV, whether you're doing soil or DAC or whatever you call it, you are riding on this wave of this, this, this carbon market eventually playing out. Um, there's also a big factor of, of, of dilution, not so much for marketplaces or, or kind of more software heavy startups, but for, for anybody that's, that's doing uh, soil-based, ocean-based, land-based, air-based carbon removal, you're talking about machines, land, people, equipment, all that stuff is, you know, uh, uh, it's, it makes carbon removal different from a lot of other industries. And then lastly is diligence. Uh, and that's like the diligence for these companies is, is there, you know, there's been a handful of companies that have, that have gotten seed funding, but it's not like you can do it in your sleep stuff. I mean, and that's, that's part of like, part of what this event comes from is the, it's the freaking chaos that air miners operates in is we've talked to more investors than pretty much anybody. We've talked to more buyers than pretty much anybody. And we've talked to more startups than pretty much anybody. And what's at the intersection of that is that we've talked to more buyers, startups, and investors than anyone else. And so we see this like this chaotic intersection where it's like on the startup side, they're trying to raise money and they're like, yeah, this, this investor said that it's not a fit. And then you talk to the investor behind the scenes and they're like, ah, oh, man, like we saw like tons of companies doing like a similar method and like we can't pick it apart and so we just we just say no to all of them right and so there's this like chaos in the, in the middle of this that we have real insights into and we can help solve for that right how do we help the investors learn how to do diligence how do we help the investors understand like all the different uh, types of technologies and things like that on the startup side how do you how do you start to talk about that how do you tell this compelling vision for addressing these concerns around around market, around dilution, around diligence. And so the benefit of this event is you get to come into that and talk with two startup founders who have done it. And that's why it's important to, to come is it's, this is firsthand uh, insight. It's, it's experience, it's guidance. I wouldn't say it's like that they know how to do it, but these, but more importantly, these are people that have done it, right? So like they've, they've actually done it. They've figured out how to do it in the last six months. There's fewer than, much fewer than a thousand, maybe around a hundred people have ever done this. And I would say on the order of like 10 or 20 startups have raised money in the last six months and you want to know how to do it. And so come, come get a shortcut from, from people that have, um, this is, this is how we get to remove a billion tons of carbon dioxide by, by 2030. It's, it's go time. These events, we're not doing these events to, to, to do events. We never have. This is. This, this drumbeat of people who are at the front cutting edge of carbon removal, who are in a, in a group of 50, maybe 100 people that have had this experience, and they're coming back to share that with other people so that we can figure out how to remove carbon credits, how we can sell carbon credits, figure out how you can raise money for your startup, and highlighting all the things that are different about carbon removal. And that's, that's why these events are important, that you can call them convenings, you can call them like of village meetings, you can call them the summits, or whatever you want to call them. What we're fundamentally doing is getting people together, taking information that is uh, is is information experience that's in the minds of fifty, maybe a hundred people max on the planet, and we're 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 taking that tech and sharing it with the other, the next fifty, the next five hundred people, because that's how we're going to get to removing a billion tons of carbon dioxide by 2030. So I'll see you there. How to raise $500,000 for your startup company. 
Uh, one last note is we have our investor demo day coming up and our buyer demo day uh, coming in the next couple of weeks. You can check on the AMRI's Luma calendar. Those are for accredited investors. Uh, so you have to be accredited to be there because the startups are actually saying, uh, here's how much money we're raising. Do you want to invest in these companies? So these are real pitches. Um, and, and so if you're an accredited investor, you can come check those out. If you're a buyer, again, these are the best and the brightest teams that are uh, standing by ready to remove carbon dioxide from the air. Uh, and they're offering it up to uh, to buyers in 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 carbon removal. And so we have a uh, we have a buyers demo day where buyers get together. And each of those events uh, are are the the biggest convenings ever of their sort. Uh, we had the first ones back in September. Uh, it was the biggest investor convening uh, as as th that we ever know of. Um, and same with buyers. Uh, we got the 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 what do you call it? The, the kiloton club, anybody that's bought over a thousand tons. We want them there in that room so they can buy from the, from the next generation of, of carbon rule companies. So if that's you, uh, or if you know somebody who's an accredited investor who wants to invest in carbon removal or a buyer who's, who's wanting to make carbon removal purchases, that's the place to be. That's it. It's go time.